All right, hello, this is Queen of Pentacles, Sarah 333. Let's read. Let's read. Somebody asked me if something new. I don't know. <laughs> I read whatever come out. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This person right here, you got somebody real nice, like, like, um, trying to come in and talk to you. They come out real romantic. This person come out charming and everything, too. Um, so, yeah, man or woman. But, yeah, I feel like you got new love coming in. And I did see money, you know. But, yeah. It still don't erase some things you already going through. You know, sometimes you can. Everybody won't. New, new, me too. Me too, true. I'm single, but I don't dwell on love like everybody else do, though. So, but even though everybody won't love and everything, it still don't erase everything that's going on in your life. Card readers ain't meant to like just tell you what what you want to know. What you want to hear. Card readings, you know, can be kind of triggering. I ain't never heard of a person going to a fortune teller. I've seen people go to fortune tellers and they tell them all kind of stuff. I'm going to be honest. I don't get readings, but one time I went and got a reading. Um, I did go get a reading from this lady. She lived downtown. She a gypsy. And that lady was bad, y'all. I did. I went and got one from her. Hold on. I had a couple readings from a couple clients. A couple of my clients gave me readings too. Um, but usually card readers tell you what you want to know, not what you want to hear. See, I'm okay to, to hearing the good and the bad, the ugly, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Everybody not good with hearing wild stuff. Um, you know, because ain't no telling what them cars going to say. Shoot, you can hear me even when I be doing the readings. You can hear me saying, oh, or, oh, my God, or, you know, like, what the heck, or, you know, something like that. And let's read, y'all. Let's read. I'm here to tell the truth. I'm here to tell you what I see. And when I start getting, like, signs and signs, I can't stop. I be wanting to, like, I be wanting to know, too. I mean, like, let me see what these cards tell you. I mean, saying. And like, I like to do collective readings because it seems like I can see a wider range of everything. I don't know. It's a difference when I do, like, individual readings and then I do a collective reading. It's like I can see almost every. It's like a crystal ball to me. It's like a big picture. You know? Sometimes it tells me stuff I don't even want to know. Honey, I don't be wanting to know. But anyway, let's read. It's tough. I know somebody being nosy. I'll tell you that right now. But I did got the King of Cups. I got save your money, hold on to your money at this time. Let's see. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, that's why I like playing cards too, because they don't got all them pictures on it and everything. What's the next card they need to know? And I've got all them pictures on it. Might have hearts, you know, you might share a man or a woman. Ace of Pentacles, I see new money coming to you, new finances, everything like that, but they're more intuitive. It, may, it forces you to, to use your intuition. It forces you to um, see a bigger picture. So, they go to Eight of Cups. Somebody could be moving away or moving on from something here. Um, work, love, life. They go to Five of Swords. That's why I came back on here. I saw 555. Five, five. So some conflict could be coming your way or some kind of crazy situation. Stay away from arguments at this time. It don't mean that you have to be in an argument. It can be that you're at the store and all of a sudden you see an argument at the store. It could be that, you know, you be looking outside and you see something happening across the street, down the street. You know what I'm saying? Because one time I saw 55555, five, 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 I was like, oh, my God. And I was, it was my neighbors. My neighbors was cutting up. That's when I lived on the other side of town. Anyway, let's keep going. One time I saw the Knight of Swords, I knew somebody was going to come in with some crazy 
communication, but it was the people at the store when I went to the store. <laughs> so they go to Queen of Diamonds. You could be money focused right now, thinking about your money and everything like that. You could come out very caring. Here, somebody could be um, wifey, husband material, man or woman. Anyway, let me see. Let's see why the King of Cups is here. Again. The King of Cups is stuck. They stuck on you then. We're going to say they stuck on you. Let's look at that. Trapped, stuck. The person who loves you stuck. Three of Swords. They, be they very emotional. They very um, sweet. Three of Swords could also be like heartbroken in their feelings. So somebody love you. Four of Pentacles here. This person feels stuck. They, they look like, yeah, they're looking at you. Three of Ones. They could be waiting on you too. Or no, they could be, they want to work together with you here. Ooh, another three. That's probably why they stuck. Somebody could be 48 and somebody could be 30, 33. All right. Okay. 37. Born in 1987. Something like that. Let's keep going. So I got the two of one. So I feel like at the time, it's like this person trying to figure out what path they own right now. Seven of, seven of um, diamonds, though. They worry about money or something. Let's look. And I, I usually like to use my intuition more than um, they ain't taking no chances on somebody or somebody ain't giving this person a chance, but this person loves you. Seven of Cups, maybe that's why. Okay, I feel like this person do love you, but it could be some kind of confusion around this person here. Seven of Ones. It told me uh, they're defensive. You probably got to stand your ground with this person. They feel like something ain't going their way or something like that. They see you as a victory and they see you getting one here. Hmm. Let's see what else. What else do y'all see? King of Swords. Okay, they mad about something too. Queen of Wands, you. See, I feel like somebody could have born in 1977. Somebody could be 66. 27. Somebody could be 27. Um, let me look at this King of Swords, Queen of Wands. They defensive, they worry about money, they, um, let me look, ooh, think you playing them, jealous too, ain't, hey, they could be jealous, you could meet a jealous man then, okay, or a woman, you can meet a jealous man or woman, they seem like they're coming out very emotional, they could be just getting out of a breath breakup, um, they could be very sensitive. This is a very sensitive kind of person here. You could be going out of town or something like that. Here, it looks like you're going to take some trips. Um, two, um, I want to say, yeah, somebody traveling and everything like that. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, I feel like it is time here. You're pretty much single and everything. Could be looking around here. I heard somebody could be looking around for jobs or houses or something, but it's something you're looking for. Queen of Pentacles, you're thinking about your finances, your money at this time. Yeah, you you need to focus on your money too. Save money. That's what I'm seeing. Let me see these King of Cups. Okay, the Ten of Diamonds. Five of Wands. Let me look at this right here. Let me nice to me. I, I feel like this person, yeah, you're getting a love offer. Everything like that, okay? Um, I did say something about some jealousy. Okay, but then I did see a lot of people here already. Hold on. I see a, a lot of people. <sighs> okay, so I want to say this person ain't getting what they want, which is, I feel like you you, yeah, this person coming in with love here towards you. I heard Courtney, I see an Aquarius. 
Oh, yeah, somebody come out sweet. Whoa. Mm. Okay. I see that person dreaming again. And then I see these people talking again. What? Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes when I get these kind of readers on. All right. All right, tell me more about this Queen of Swords energy. All right. Okay, right now it's telling me that you could be feeling somebody's energy. You real sensitive to energy. Okay, let me throw one on this person right here that's offering you love. Yeah. I feel like it is time for some reason uh, somebody got a whole lot on their mind. Their mind, they mind look cloudy. It could be dealing with additions to help them with their cloudy mind. Yep. Keep seeing the Ace of Cups. All right. So I know you get a new beginning in love and everything like that, but let's keep going. Y'all, I usually like to tell what I see. Let me tell what I see. Because you know, you can't just focus on, um, on you know, Telling fake stories to people. I mean, I, I can't. So let me let me do this, this my way. Because I keep seeing something here. I need to see this. What's this Queen of Swords? It's like she it's like this person, man or woman, calling somebody out like they know the truth. Yeah. Like you very sensitive to energy and everything like that. So what's this star card? The lovers here move on. Why this person in their head? Okay, they in their head because, ooh, or you could be thinking about this person, or this person could be heavily. You know how some people say, that person was heavy on my mind. Um, somebody heavy on someone's mind here. Okay, why did this? Ooh, it looks like they're running from something. They could be running from confrontation to somebody wants to come towards you. But it's like something ain't right with them. Ooh. All right, keep going. Show me the Queen of Swords. <sighs> we need to talk to her. Yeah, I keep getting it. That's why I do these reads to protect people. Five, five, five. So you having a conversation with someone. What is wrong with them? I mean, it's almost like you're being heavily watched. Too. Yeah. Someone on this King of Swords. Somebody, ooh, somebody must be getting on this person's nerves. Here, okay. It's almost like you told somebody something. And, okay, tell me about this Six of Cups. Tell me about this Six of Cups. What you gonna give me, Spirit? Um, they gave me the Three of Pentacles. Working together. Tell me about the queen, queen of swords. Some about money. She got her hand out. She want money. Some about work. Work. What about work? These are like haters to me. Haters at work then. Um. Tell me more. Why they coming for you? The high priestess like that. It's a burden. It's more than one person. They being sneaky. They trying to cover something up. That's what I just heard. Here. Mm -hmm. Let me keep going. Okay, I keep seeing somebody. I keep. I mean, the way it's dropping down is weird. It looks like money. I see money dropping down. Okay. What else? So I see your wishes coming true. I see some kind of a love offer, apology. I'm 
seeing somebody here looking like the boss. Maybe somebody could be intimidated by you a little bit. Let me see him. Whoa. I see a wedding. I see a marriage. Woo, but I keep getting it. Somebody else here. Some kind of mother figure or something like that. What are they going to do? What is mother going to do? She feeling some type of way? Why is she being sneaky then? Okay, something could have ended for her. Let me see. Yeah. It could be some kind of unexpected towel. What is this person doing? Okay, they arguing. Did you take a husband away? Or somebody's son away from an ex-wife, a mother figure, a family member that act like they wife or they husband? This person acting jealous of you. They angry. <laughs> this probably ain't happy. I heard it's gonna rain. I heard the weather's gonna change. It's gonna rain. Yeah, they telling me to tell you to be aware. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. It looks like an angel sitting between you and your future relationship, like some kind of marriage. Somebody look like they want to marry you, but then I got a problem here. It's almost like this person could like cut everybody off that don't agree with them being happy, cut their whole family off and everything, but somebody coming at you though. Somebody coming at you. What's wrong with them? Let me see. It's almost like you're getting married and the whole family and your family too. Nobody agrees. Nobody wants to see us together, but it don't matter though, cause I got you. What's this tower then? Secrets coming out of the tower. I mean, it's a lot of them. What's I feel like every time this person tries to mess with you, it's almost like every time, because I feel like you and this other person is supposed to be together. By this person messing with you, like trying to destroy it or your happiness or whatever, um, the person that was bothering you is because there's some haters here. It's like every time people hate on you or something like that, it don't matter if it's work, love, or life, um, they go down bad. They, they hit a loss or something. Yeah, they coming at you. It's like somebody's constantly coming at you. I don't know what they're trying to attack you or what. It, they're a trip. Um, it's like they want you to leave, go away, and everything like that. But they being sneaky. They have a real sneaky way of doing it. Work, love, life. Anyway, so this person here, okay, you could have left somebody alone or, or you could leave somebody alone because of everybody around them. I'm telling you. That seems like it's always the problem when you get in a relationship. Everybody start messing with you. Let me look at this person. Because I keep seeing this person right here. And this person make me want to talk all day about this person. <laughs> the way they're looking at you. Yeah. They say you see the truth. Somebody must don't want you to see the truth. Then, yeah, but you do. You do. And I feel like at this time, somebody trying to block you or stop you some kind of way. Somebody coming at you angrily. They keep coming towards you to attack you because you're happy. They being real sneaky too. I mean, they they look like they, uh, yeah, conflict here. They trying to start some conflict with you. They told me there's some kind of competition and this is, it, it worked. Work, they working. They could be working with you. Yeah, they don't like you. Um, they being sneaky, but every time they be sneaky, you peeping them out and you see them and everything like that, and they know it too. Okay? This person could want to work together with you. They're trying to create some kind of tower for you in a whole group. It's a whole group. Okay? Work, love, life. But I see a whole group and somebody being, I'm telling you. I mean, 
I feel like at this time, this person probably going to try to make you out to be a lie. Everything like that. They focus. They whole focus is you. <laughs> um, I feel like they're going to get tired, though. You're going to wear them out by how many times you catch them anyway. Don't stop. Let me tell you something. When people hating on you and everything like that, keep going. Don't let them win. Don't let them win. I mean, this person hoping you don't see them and everything like that. They're hoping that you can't see them, but they keep coming to attack you. So they're making it so obvious and everything like that here. I feel like these are haters. These are haters or some kind of group here. Yeah, it's a bunch of y'all. It's a bunch of I just saw 29. A bunch of them. What kind of group is this? Um, it's, they, they big. They big. Okay, it's something that you're saying or something like that here that got these people in their feelings and everything like that. So they want to try to hurt you for telling the truth. That's what it looks like. That's what it looked like. I see a lot of them. Okay, and it's saying that some of y'all watching me know exactly what I'm talking about too. Oh wow, these people miserable here. I kind of feel like I know exactly what group this is too. But I can't say it. I notice that every time you say keywords, it's a group, it's a bunch of them y'all. I heard they want to take you down. They want to take you down because you're telling the truth. I see conflict and everything like that. I feel like, you know, like I said, keep going. They, they, they don't like certain stuff. You know, people don't like the truth. I'm going to be honest. I see them too. It's a whole group. I mean, y'all should see how many times they don't they don't teamed up and everything. Some people don't left. They don't went and got more folks just for you, <laughs> for real. But a lot of people going through this. Even even big people go through this. Start. They say it's a start. A start. It's a start that's being attacked. A start watching me that's being attacked by a whole group of people. They trying to be sneaky. They going by ways to. I guess you talk too much. You know what? This happened to me one time. I remember I was playing this game. And I kind of spoke about it before. But I used to be on this game. My name was All Benny. It was like a farm game. And so I had this big old farm. And, you know, it's animated. It was like an app. And I got addicted to it. I think it was called, it wasn't farm, bit papaya farm. My name on there used to be All Benny. I had got real big on this game. All of a sudden, one time, um, all of a sudden, um, one day, I, I ain't gonna lie, at the time I was dating, like, uh, I wasn't doing this. I wasn't working as a tarot card reader. But I was, date, I was, I was with this, you know, my, my twin's father. And it was so crazy. Because, you know, I'm the kind of person, people don't like when you speak the truth. And they had like a a board. On the board, um, you can go on there and talk to everybody. You can dress up your avatar, look cute, look pretty, post pictures, just like Facebook. And my ex had a bunch of money. So I ain't going to lie. I would get his credit card sometime. I would spend all my money, and I would get his credit card. So I, I had money, but this, you know, people get jealous when they see you finna shine, finna get big and stuff like that. So I would spend my money and his money on that game. <laughs> I would buy about fifty dollars worth of meat and vegetables, grass, meat and grass, and butterflies to grow people crops. And I don't know what happened. It was crazy. But it was like this cyber bullying came. Bunch of people came and they shut me down overnight. Like they came at me in a swarm to get rid of me. It was crazy. Um, I remember I felt so low. I did. And 
I was like really, really big, popular. I was on there for six years on that game. That's how addicted I was. But right after they shut me down, it was crazy. You know what happened? The whole game shut down. The shame, the, the whole game, like a few months later, after playing for six years, I went back on there and checked. There was no more Papaya Farm. They took it all the way off after that happened to me. They did. They shut the whole thing down. I'm going to be honest. Somebody could have some problems at work. Be careful because I see some kind of bullying. And this is it. Of someone's job. They trying to get rid of you and everything like that. I want to tell you this. Leave. Go somewhere else. Before they push you away. You know. Or wait till they fire you and sue them for unemployment. I had a job like that too. Back in 2001 um, to 2006 or something like that, I had carpal tunnel in both of my hands where I had to have surgery on both of my hands. So I, I was suing the company and they knew they had to pay me some big money. So they were trying to make me quit. I stood my ground and I stayed. I was like, I'm not leaving this job and they wind up having to pay me a lot of money too. They had to pay me. They had to pay me. I was smart with it. You know, sometimes you can be a little bit too smart for people and you can intimidate people. They don't like when you're smart. You know? And I, I didn't let nothing bother me. One day, one day I fell asleep because they, they would try to give me real boring jobs. So they put me in this room called the box room where nobody was around. The only thing was up there was a walkie-talkie and it only like, you know, they, they put me in the phone room, the phone call room. It on that phone only rang like every other hour. So I worked night shift, graveyard shift. So I was, I got sleepy. Uh, one night I got so sleepy. So I said, I'm finna go to my car. I'm finna go to sleep. They can't do nothing to me. Both of my hands was wrapped up because I had surgery on both of my hands. So I couldn't really use my hands like that. So I went in my car, snuck out of there, and I, I, I got in my car, and I went to sleep. I was sitting, I heard, toot, toot. The security was looking for me. <laughs> I woke up. I stayed down. I was in the back seat, laying down. I was snoring. I was, I, I was out of it. I said, I'm going to sneak back up in that job. And so when the security walked around my car to check the car, I heard them say, check the car. They running back and forth. The supervisors running back and forth. The um, security running back and forth and everything like that. And they still couldn't find me. <laughs> they were searching for me like crazy. <laughs> they couldn't find me. I'm short too. I'm like five foot one, five two. So they really couldn't see me. And I had some cover in the back seat. So I snuck out of the car. I got to the parking lot. I got back in the building. And then I saw my supervisor. And when I saw my supervisor, he looked at me and said, friend Keisha, I said, what is wrong with you? What you looking at for me for? And like you the police, you ain't the police. <laughs> they couldn't do nothing with me. And then I remember when they finally did, man, that was some, that was, that was hard, you know, working around those people. But I stood my ground. See, if I would have quit before, if I would have quit that job before the lawsuit ended, um, if I would have quit, they would have had to pay me half the money. But because I didn't quit, they had to pay me all my money. At the time I got the money, it took, oh, it took five years to get that money, y'all. I had to stay at that job for five years, and I stayed for five years. I sure did. Because I was like, somebody had already put me on game, and I was, I was young, you know. I had started working that way, you know, when I was almost, you know, Teenagers, I was young. But somebody told me, they said, don't quit. Don't quit. Keep going. And that's exactly what I did. Anyway, I'm Queen of Pinnacle Sarah 333. Thank you.